How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Elvis Junction Reviews. Today, we are going to be looking at our first steam locomotive on the channel. We're going to be looking at an 060 Bachman Porter tank engine, uh, numbered for the uh, Edgerton, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, number 2240. Like I said, this is a Bachman. It has DCC on board, but has no sound. So we're going to go ahead and open this locomotive up. In fact, this was my first locomotive I actually bought myself. Um... Like, because the first one I actually received was uh, part of a starter set. It was also a little 060, but it was not a tank. It was it had its own tender. All right, so it's very simple packaging in here, as you can see. Nothing too simple. Just a simple blister package, but it is a Bachman locomotive, so it's not going to be worth that much, but it's still going to be, it still will look pretty good for a steam engine. And out of the box it comes. Just like that. There's no cover, no... There's no, not even a, like a simple like thing saying, thank you for purchasing this locomotive. All right, let's get into a bit of a history. So I'm going to be honest with you. I really couldn't find any history on this locomotive, mostly because Bachman, when it comes to their steam locomotives, they just tend to take a series of locomotive and just make their own versions. Like they've made Southern or Union Pacific or even just other actual companies. And then they just kind of take in some other uh, railroads and just say, okay, they have some railroads here. But anyway, this is a Porter 060. It's a little powerful little tank engine. And it's a it's a tank engine because you can see the water tanks are right here on the sides of the locomotive as opposed to without having a tender. This is a lot easier when it comes to backing up the locomotive because there's no tender, which can be more dangerous for visibility. Like for example, you can look, see the engineer, he would usually, he'd be here and he can look out and he has no trouble. There's no tender blocking his view. But anyway, let's get into some details here. We're going to be starting with the front. So because this is a Bachman locomotive, we're not going to see as much detail as if you would see on, say, a Broadway Limited model or a Scale Trains model or hell, even a Walther's model, Walther's Proto. But anyway... And we're looking at our details starting from the top and working our way down to the bottom as we usually do. Starting here at the top, we have our lovely smokestack and we have our headlight that does operate in directions. So when the locomotive is moving forward, that light will be on. Here is the front of our boiler with the boiler door and you can see the hinges that allow it to open. It does not open. We have our number plate here, a nice big 2240. Working our way down here, we have our pistons. You can see them on either side, one here and the other one is over there. You can see our coupler cup bar which is right here and i think it oh yes it does actually move look at that it does move i believe just a tad yes it does move up and down we have our bachman easy mate coupler right here along with some uh front steps here if you were to couple onto the locomotive and if you wanted to hold on and then we have our i don't know if this is really an anti-climber but this is where the coupler is hooked on and it is made out of wood actually well not real wood but if this is the actual prototype that is actually that is actual wood right there it's just a big I beam, not an I beam. It's just a big wood beam. All right, so let's move on to this to the back. Not a lot of action back here on the rear of the locomotive, but we do. Here's this is the the cab here. You can really see, you can't see inside the lo inside because of the angle here right now. But here is our rear headlight, and here is our coal load. But actually, the fun fact is, you you can actually make this a coal or a oil load, and I have it currently set to oil. We actually look in there. There is a coal load in there. I do not know if it's real or if it's fake. It's probably a fake load. Anyway, they have a little cap here. And I believe I had to put this on correctly. Uh, it's actually... Is that correct? I think that is not correct. Okay, here we go. Let's put this on correctly here. There we go. Perfect. So now it is an oil-fired burning locomotive. But anyway, back here in the rear, we have our we have our rear-mounted headlight. We have some grab grab irons right here that are molded into the actual shell. We have another cup, whoop, a cutler coupler cut bar right here, which just flies open like that. It's almost like it's spring loaded. I do not know why. We have our Easy Mate coupler here, along with some more front steps and the number twenty two forty. All right, let's look at the side. Alrighty, so we have a lot of detail here. Uh, we have some separately applied grab irons right here for the front of the locomotive. If you were to stand on top of the piston here. We also have the little word porter to, to note that this is a porter built locomotive. Here is our cab. You can actually see inside there and there are no windows in here, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. 
we have a we have some steps here that go into the cab along with some more grab irons atsf atchison topeka and santa fe railroad we have the santa fe logo as well as a coupler cup bar that refuses to stay spring loaded all righty then all right it's down now but here's our santa fe logo along with the number a white sill stripe that runs along the, the at bottom of the tank and also up to here can see our little six, six our six drive wheels right here they're small but they are powerful here's our water tank here with the hatch above we have some sand domes as well as some steam domes and the whistle is right here along with a bell and this is a and you can really see the the length of the smokestack all right so oh yeah and here are some piston here are the driving rods all right so let's get into my final thoughts so if you're looking for a plucky little locomotive, like let's say you have a small layout, but you don't want something massive on it, and you just want like a little locomotive that you know is not going to be too much of a burden, all you just had to do is take its shell off and lubricate its gears here and there, but you know, and you also don't want any sound, this is a locomotive for you, because it's cheap, it's affordable, well, it's affordable, but it also has very good detail to a degree. And that's why I bought it, because I thought it looked nice, and I wanted a little shunter for when I used to do Steam Arrow, which was my first Arrow that I ever did all the way back in 2018. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you actually have one of these and if you really enjoy it or if you think it's absolute garbage. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.